My name is Steve Thomas and uh, just moved to Virginia a while back and had the opportunity to move cl fairly close to a, a really good blacksmith, uh, Jonathan Chandler. And I have always had an interest in wanting to make a knife. Uh, I collect knives, but I never made any knives before. So John kind of took me under his wing and we started the process, I don't know, three, four weeks ago. And uh, we worked on it off and on. And uh, I must say that he is a very, very good instructor and he has a lot of patience because he needed the patience with me. <laughs> um, so this is a knife that we made, uh, custom made knife and sheath. And uh, it certainly turned out to be very beautiful. We, and uh, the knife is, is made out of 1095 steel with uh, a kaida. Makita uh, handle and the inserts uh, with maple on the outside, black and then red. Turned out to be a really beautiful knife once we just settled on a finish for it. And uh, I just like to give John a plug again. If you if you want to make a knife and you live in this area. Uh, Please take advantage of it. Also, he sells a lot of kits for making knives and uh, does a lot of blacksmithing projects, so uh, he'll do you right. But you got to bring a little something to the ball game yourself. <laughs> uh, he, he is very good and, like I said, very patient. He had to be to, uh, to work with me. Well, I want, I want to thank you because it was my pleasure. My pleasure of, of helping you with that. Good. And I Good. hope it, it satisfies you. And, uh, I'm well satisfied. And uh, I might even try to take on another one if I have go. time. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Be loved to have you. Yeah. two pieces and what we're going to do is we're going to find where we need to bend this thing and we're going to give us a little bit on each end see and so we're going to have to mark that spot there right here is where I want that to bend and so we'll do that on this side so we'll bend right here and like I say we got to give us a little bit on each side and then what I'm going to get you to do is we're going to, we're just going to file us just a little notch on that edge so we can find it. Um, because what we'll do is we'll heat it up in the forge, we'll bring it out here, we'll pull it across this sharp edge and we'll find that notch and hit it on the other side okay. and bend it, right. bend it down. Okay. 
too, okay? Yeah, yeah, we're going to have one more up here. And this is not a precise thing either, this is just pretty close.
Oh, oh yeah. Lightens it up, though. No. It does.
Well, I don't, I don't hold the nails for everybody now. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I know you don't. I'm going to move one of these down a little farther. A little closer. I know it gets in your way, but we're getting so far away from our holding. I just don't want them holes to disappear on us. Well, it, it don't have as many threads in it. <laughs> Pull it through. There you go. Pull it down tight. Down tight. Okay. Drop that one. There you go. Yep. Okay. Outside first. That's your first step. Okay. All right. Well, if y'all made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you watch staying around and watching Steve make his knife. Uh, I really enjoyed working with Steve. He is a great person and has lots of life experience. And one of his dreams was to make his own knife. He collected knives for years and, and really enjoyed them. Um, if this was your idea of a good time, please contact us. I'll have my contact information in the description below and we'll work something out. Uh, if you're able to work Full days, it takes about two or three days to make a knife from start to finish. Um, usually we can get the whole knife done in two, but sometimes three days. And uh, be feel free to contact me and uh, we'll work something out. Uh, my wife and I also run a bed and breakfast so we can, if you're out of town, we can take care of your accommodations. And you can find that information in the description as well. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.